It's like ooh la la, ooh la la. It's not hard to say how I feel. It's like ooh la la, ooh la la. It's kind of easy now 'cause it's real. Na 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 na. Na 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 na. Na 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 na. And we are back. Hello, Nottingham. Bucky here with Outlaw Radio, bringing you news and entertainment and all that great stuff. We're not going to let the heat wave keep us from reaching out to you. We've got the windows open, the fans on, and everything. As well as that, we have another guest intro. That's right, everyone. So let's give it a listen. Well, this is Outlaw Radio. Yeah. Oh, yeah! Please keep sending them in. They're, they make the show every single time. So yeah, let's get right into it with the answer to last time's question, which is... She poked him in the eye with a sausage roll. I know. I don't get it either. But, you know, I guess everyone thought it was really funny. So it went viral. Maybe because she did it at the championships. I don't know. Oh! Oh, yeah. Speaking of the championships, what about that Zach Mackay? What? Talk about delayed reaction. Just when he thought he was getting away with it. Nope. Should have kept it in your pants, mate. Is that something you often think to yourself, Will? You should have kept it in your... (laughs) I'll have you know, I'm very good at keeping it in my Uh, pants. uh, You, on the other hand, Bucky, everyone knows about you. You've got a reputation down here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, By the way, can I just... um... Uh, But I'm... Just two secs, just two secs, thanks. Uh, Hey, everyone, Will here. I know what I said about the championships and how it's a distraction from the real issues, and I still stand by it, but but I do want to say, well done. You saw an injustice and you spoke up. You forced their hand and made them listen. We just need to use that momentum to put that same energy to use, making ourselves heard when it's not just a silly sports or celebrity thing. We did good this time and we can do so much more too. Because of you, a message has been sent. The rich don't get away with breaking the rules just for being rich. That's the lesson Zach Mackay has learned. Well, yeah, that, and don't shag a juror when you're competing in whatever they're judging. <laughs> of course, yeah, don't shag a juror when you're competing in the thing, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're already over here. Uh, do you want to do the news now? Yeah, mate, sure. Okay, awesome, yeah, great. Okay, everyone, this time it's Stuff Nottingham News Got Wrong with Will Scarlett. Well, that's accurate, but not very catchy, is it? It still needs a little bit of work. Uh, you can't, you just, I can't please you at all. I can't, I'm trying, I'm just not, I'm just not trying. You, you do, you're, doing, you're doing better every day, Bucky, I promise uh, okay. you. Okay, okay, fine. Carry on. <laughs> so, this time, like they say in the movies, this time it's personal. They're saying I, well, my, that, that we tried to rob a van load of guns. Hmm? Not true. Just another flat-out lie. I mean, come on. Not every crime is me, Jesse. I'm a busy man. I can't be everywhere at once. It was a local gang who nearly hijacked those guns. Those guys weren't from Greenwood. I've never met them. Never heard of any of them. I asked around. It was just a mob of kids who were looking to get their hands on some heavy-duty protection. They saw an opportunity, so they took it. Because that's what life can be like in the outer circle streets. What's more, they say that I got hold of one of my senior lieutenants. Why am I a general now? I don't have lieutenants. We're not an army. We're just people. People who've come together because we believe in the same things. Justice and truth. They didn't catch any of us because none of us were there. And I'm told these kids scattered as soon as the guards turned up. So the guards didn't catch any of them either. But why would they say that? That they had someone in custody if they didn't? Like, obviously it's a lie, but they lie all the time. But what's the purpose of of this one? Good question, Bucky. Always look for the reason for the truth. They're pinning this on me, yeah? So not catching any of us wouldn't look good for them. This way they can say they've got a lead, they're making progress, they're getting closer. It doesn't matter that it was just a bunch of kids. That doesn't fit the story. It, It doesn't serve the lies they feed us all. Look, it's easier for the government to blame rebels than it is to tackle gang crime and to open youth centres to keep these kids off the streets and give them decent lives. It's the great lie. Law and order. When they bang on about cracking down on violent crime, they're talking about treating the symptoms and they're ignoring the cause. Because if they actually did anything uh, to end the inequality and injustice that keeps us poor, 
then that had cut right into their profit margins. And Hecate forbid that they make an okey less than they did last year. No, it's much easier to just say, Will did it, and keep everyone from seeing the ugly truth. What's another lie on top of the others? But it's a pretty transparent one, because anyone who knows anything knows it wasn't me. Sorry, Jesse, but you're barking up the wrong tree this time. Oh, mate. Will, are you saying she's a... She's a tool. She's a cog in the machine, Bucky. And when they finish using her, they'll toss her away like the rest of us. Uh, Will Scarlet, everyone. Moving on. Looks like the storm's over and Gwyneth's gone for now. Bye, Gwenny. Anyone who needs help with clearing up debris and stuff from the houses, we are meeting at 6pm tonight at Pigeon Square so we can just get it all organised. Hang in there. Of course, it's still well hot, so just a reminder, stay hydrated and watch out for fires. If anyone has a couple of hours to spend, there's a volunteer service that you can join, clearing away dry brushwood with controlled burns. And if you are a lucky sod who can afford holidays and go camping and stuff, watch your campfires and make sure they are out cold when you put them out, okay? They say it's not getting any cooler anytime soon so we've got to be extra 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 careful right will right absolutely okay what else uh, oh yeah uh community notice board first up a message from mrs wells who runs the curio shop at stapleford one you know the one she asks that whoever borrowed her bicycle please return it because oh because apparently that bike's actually a hiketh relic so if you're listening whoever's got it could be a bit dangerous, mate. Best give it back to her. Hikith relics can turn you a little bit weird, even if you're not doing actual magic with them. Unless she's just saying that to get it back quicker. But either way, come on, not cool. Give it her back. Also, bingo, Bob's back. He'll be in the usual spot at the usual time. If you know, you know. He told me to say this time it's dirty knee or fish, chips and peas. That's Dirty knee or fish, chips and peas. So if that's what you are after, go find him. There's not much else because of the heat. So I'm going to leave it here with a new question, which is what ingredients go into the cocktail known as the Loxley Arrow? Until next time, stay cool. Literally. What is it you I could help you find Something buried deep inside your